We are at the basement of 223 Baltimore in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. This is the basement. They have a dehumidifier running. They have cleaned it up. Yes, there's a good sump pump. Get shorter as you go back there. Yep. Looks we got a French drain going on. We've got some French drains going on. Got sump there. There was a sump on the other side too. Okay, let me go upstairs and you got this. Okay. One of my friends, he has a TV show and they're in Gettysburg for something going on this weekend. He might be in, and he might be interested in investing as well. <clears throat> okay, so we're upstairs on the main floor. Here we have the double door entrance, which this leads into what would be the main dining room facility, grand staircase. Here, and then the entry. Here we go here, which would be the main dining room. In this corridor here, we have a coat closet. This door goes back out to the main corridor. We have a small little kitchenette and bathroom here. We might have to change a few things with that. We have another room here. We have And then this is the room that I was thinking of becoming the kitchen because it's in the back. It has two entrances. Here's a pantry under the second stairwell. So up here. And this leads to the courtyard of this building. Don't take a video of the portrait, please. It's pretty ugly. Okay, sorry. So we're going the second building. I'm not interested in, although Chad is. So we're going to come back through this room here. And come up here. And the stairways, it's deep set in the gentle slope. Up here, we're going to turn into what's going to be my office and an apartment for Audrey. So, here's going to be my office. Here's going to be my one of my boutique rooms. This will probably be Audrey's master bedroom. This will be her living room. She can use this as an office or whatever, and then she'll have her balcony. And then this room back behind here will be turned into a kitchen for her. This is what goes to the second set of stairs that I never show. And this here can be her kitchen. All right. There's nothing I would change on this property. There is another business building that is right behind it that is attached to this and we'll walk over there now ignore my breathing so we'll walk over here in the main corridor this goes down to a rather clean basement and we can come here then we'll go to the opposite building oh y'all already looked at the opposite building I'm going to run really quick through. Sure. Whereas we're not interested in this building, however, it might be useful at some point if we decide to get into real estate. This here goes upstairs to the second floor. These here are offices to lease out. Here. Here and up here. 
Now, if we purchase the property, it has a nice atrium. We have multiple setups for offices here. I could lease these out or turn them into apartments and rent them out for college students. Again here, what I could turn into a water closet, bathroom. We have options and then this goes down. That's a third stairwell, fourth stairwell in the building. So, this being said, we are going back down. And the furniture can come with the building as too if we want it. Now, like I said, this half of the building I'm not interested in. However, From this space to this space. And here we are. So this is going to be where the kitchen is. This is that stairwell that goes up to no place right now. Again, room, a room. Where I'll, probably have, I'll probably have my display cabinets here and a few small seating here, but this is what we'll be paying. That can be the garden room. For children um, I probably you know what this could be like a place where we just do the tea strictly like boil the tea make all the teas right here and then do the rest of the kitchen there and move the door on this to that side uh -huh. and then that way I don't have to worry about people coming in I could have a small little thing here we can right. just do tea and keep it simple okay and there's nothing I would change about this place. I mean, the colors, I wanted something more pastel-y, but this looks very regal. Um, no complaints. I'll, I have chandeliers, so. All right, I love you guys. Um, I love you all, I'll keep you updated. Um, that's about it, wish me luck.